good. Yeah. <laughs> are we live? We are live. We are live. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everything in between. Welcome to <laughs> episode eight of the Kickback. Woo! This is also episode number two on Dash Radio. Jack, can I get a uh, horn player? Oh, oh! <laughs> we are coming to you from Sneaker Inc. Studios in Culver City, California. Yes. I am your host, Jesus Christ, sneakerhead, sneaker aficionado, sneaker connoisseur, whatever you want to call me. To my right, I got my boy Dano, aka Late Night Color. Also falls in the same category of sneakerhead, sneaker mm -hmm. connoisseur, sneaker aficionado. Um, my man likes long walks on the beach, Air Max Ones, Air Max Nineties, no. <laughs> gold chains. There, right? Yeah, yeah. I love Air Max Nineties though. That's true. And the yeah. Ones. Oh, Ones way more. See? Yeah. Am I lying? I'm mm. not. I'm no, good. No I'm doing. Lies. Let me let me Except handle the beach. The I hate the beach. All right. He hates the beach. He yeah. likes long walks to the fridge. Yeah. Um, <laughs> on. Um, we normally have somebody on the end of the couch. Uh, due to unforeseen circumstances, he was not able to make it here in the flesh. But thanks to technology, shout out Steve Jobs, we got our boy, Mr. John Colombo, live from Hawaii, <laughs> right near the beach. John, say Aloha, hello to the folks. Everybody. Aloha. Up, That's how they do it on the island. What up? <laughs> what up? <laughs> Man, it's so sunny out there. As always, our fourth slot is save for a very, very special guest. And today, the guest is exceptionally special. He is an artist. He is a director on Bob's Burgers. And he is also the creator of the web series Sneds. Everybody, please give a warm welcome to Mr. Tyree Dillahay. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Tyree, Tyree, I'm Tyree. Me too. <laughs> Before we even get started, I just want to say thank you for stepping into the living room with us because oh, we you. know you are an incredibly busy human being. And the fact that you could even carve out even a chunk of time just to come sit and kick back and talk with us is, is so, so, so special. So thank, thank you, you, seriously, from the bottom of my heart. And I'm sure we all feel the same way. Absolutely. Thank you for being here. Thank, you. Um, thank you, you. We know you've got a very rich history and your storytelling is exceptional. So I'm I'm personally excited to get this going, man. Oh hell yeah. Been excited all week. Let's <laughs> been, get it seriously, going. Yeah. since we got the word that you were actually, you know, locked in and ready to go, this has been something that we have genuinely genuinely looked forward to. So thank you for taking the thank time. You. Um thank to you. the people watching thank and to the people listening, thank if you. they don't know who you are, will you please give a, a, a brief breakdown of who you are, what you do, where you came from? Uh should I look at you? Should I look at the camera? Whatever it's you feel, sense. man. Yeah. There's no fourth wall Hey, here. what up? What up? No. <laughs> uh, so my name is Tyree Dillahay. Uh, my friends call me Ree. All of you guys out in the internet land, you can call me Ree if you see me on the street. Yo, what up, Ree? Like, that's totally cool. Um, I'm an old head <laughs> officially now. I won't tell you my age, but I'm sure if you do some research, you'll actually figure it out. Uh, I work professionally in cartoons. Uh, I work on a show called Bob's Burgers. Might have heard of it, seen it a couple uh, of times. You might have heard. It's <laughs> it's real small, but I think I think y'all are gonna do something really big with this. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, are we allowed I'm to say that? Real too. Yeah, we're allowed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think you'll hear more about that, but that's funny. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I can actually say what I do for a living. I think that's okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, in addition to that. Um, I work a lot with brands, mm -hmm. uh, doing special things, activations and whatnot, and kind of giving my insight as to how I see things from yep. a creative perspective. And uh, it, it's, it's fun being me. I like being me. Life is okay. I think that's very important. Self-esteem is high. Testosterone is kicking. I'm hey, like, I'm, you know, I'm good. For being <laughs> an old head, I'm really happy to hear that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. New genetics. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. yes. Oh, Speaking of special projects. About, hey, we don't want to go down that <laughs> path. <laughs> <laughs> you did a little something, uh, a little something, something with Nike Sportswear not too, too long ago yes. uh, for Air Max Day. Well, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Man, that was, that was so special. That was like the culmination of everything that I've been doing in sneakers finally mm -hmm. happening. Um, so yeah, for Air Max Day, which I think is like in its third year now. Uh, I think fourth. I think fourth. 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 Yeah. Fourth. Yeah. fourth, yeah. So even more special. 
So I got a I got a dope story. Is it time for storytelling? The sure. whole time okay? it's yeah. time for storytelling. Are you guys ready? If I had my Mr. Rogers sweater right now, I'd put it on <laughs> and have you guys sit down. And um, but yeah, so uh, tw wow. Let's just say a while ago. Yeah, <laughs> a few uh, years back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a while ago, um, I had a friend uh, named Sanai, and uh, we played junior college basketball together. And um, after basketball at, at junior college, we kind of went our separate ways. I hadn't talked to Sanai in years. Mm -hmm. And then come to find out, uh, when we reconnected via LinkedIn, uh, that's wow. the site where professionals connect. <laughs> so if you're trying to hit me up <laughs> and talking about, hey, oh, it's such and such from Twitter, don't hit me up because you ain't got no business to talk about. But uh, LinkedIn is where professionals connect on a business tip. And uh, Sanai hit me up and he was like, hey, is this the same Tyree Dillahay like from uh, junior college basketball? Yeah, because there's so many of y'all floating yeah, around. Yeah, the Dillahays, you know, like, the yeah. Dillahays, like yeah. I, I meet them all the time. Uh, so it was like, dude, there's only one. <laughs> uh, so we connected at a, at a Nike event to see each other in person. It was like a reunion, hadn't seen each other in years. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, so what you been doing? And I'm like, man, um, I don't know if you knew, but I, I, I draw, like I'm an artist. And he was like, really? He was like, I might have, like, I actually might have something we could connect on. So fast forward, like about two months, he was like, yo, we want to do something for Air Max Day. And we want to do this idea with a coloring book. And like, this is right up your alley. Like mm -hmm. I saw what you were doing with SNEDs, with the cartoon characters. And that was my main thing. I was like, wait. So if we do a coloring book, can I actually put my characters right. in it? That was the main thing. Absolutely. He was like, he was like, let me get back to you. But um, lo and behold, I was able to use the Snedge characters, and then it became an official collaboration. That's so beautiful. we did two books. We did a coloring book where you know users can actually color the book, right. and that released on 316. And then we did another one on 326, where it was a fully colored version, my version of the book. So there's actually two versions of the book floating mm -hmm. around. And when they finally dropped, it was, uh, what is it, 25, 25 books per store okay. for each drop. Right. So I think that uh, in, for a total of 13 stores in Los Angeles. Is it, okay, I was going to ask, was it just all L.A.? Yeah, in Los Angeles, stores like Undefeated, Shoe Palace, <coughs> Bait, Finish Line, um, Foot Action. Damn, so you were in big box stores as well. Like, yeah, that's, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, so I had a couple of people yeah, hit me at the up. Grove. That's where John got hit. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Nike, at Nike LA, Town at the Nike, Grove. Yep. Yeah, yeah I, I actually only bought the shoes so that I could get the book. Yeah, that's um, love. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah that's love. That's true. That's love. Like, I, I, straight up, I went on a, and he didn't. On a hunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a couple of people actually buy the buy shoes so they could get the book. That's I was crazy. trying to get that's as crazy. many people to hold off, but I, I really didn't even get my stash of books right. until last month. So I got a lot of people hit me up asking for books. So I'm giving well, them I've out. I've seen a flood on my Instagram. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All yeah. The, like, actually, if you, yeah. Guys, if you guys don't have books, I'll give you books before no, we I'm, leave, too. We would love that. Dude, I would love Dude. Seriously. Yeah. That this is some bullshit. Yes, for what? See? See what happens? That's what happens when you got to be greedy and you got to have things right yeah, when they drop. You're probably going to get your shit signed right now, too. Oh, but, but of course. What, anything less will be uncivilized. Yeah, that's what you get for vacationing in Hawaii. <laughs> Boo-hoo John. <laughs> no, that's incredible. Incredible, man. And it's like you said, I did see it, you know, popping up on my feed too. You know, uh, the guys at Rift, they posted it a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. and, and it's really dope to see, you know, the love coming from the LA squad and like the people that have really been in the game for a minute to yeah. show, you know, it's not just about, um, you know, keeping it tight knit, keeping it, you know, just within the circle. Like this was a big thing for you. And to see how much love yeah. you got from the community, not just, you know, the squad was beautiful, man. That's oh, yeah. that was incredible. No, no, thank you. Um, and the whole thing about giving it you know, to riff and all, all my friends within mm -hmm. the community. Like these are people that I've known. Right, right. right. I think Jeff mentioned it. Like I've known Jeff for like 10 years. Yeah. You know, it's like, and then like when the store first opened, yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. like this, I mean, it's, it's crazy seeing everybody, you know, grow to new heights. Exactly. You know, in, in progressing. I think I'm in the same damn place though, honestly. Like, uh, I, 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 don't, I, mean, I don't feel this, like I've grown. If this like, Bob's Burger <laughs> thing takes off, man, like this, this could really <laughs> be like. I might reach syndication. This yeah, might be your meal might. ticket. And I might get off fries and move to the grill. Hey, for <laughs> <You> real. <know? laughs> and that's, that's when the big bucks. And we're moving on up. And then, it, and then it's manager, <laughs> and then it's employee of the month, you know? No. So, yeah. How did you take get off. like? How did this whole Bob's Burgers things come about? Like, I know it, it's you know you had Snare, and that from our interaction and us knowing each other for you know a few years now, and me being back in the Midwest, I saw Snares and I was like, man, this is fucking incredible. 
and I knew there was a guy named Ree that did it because it right. was Sneds by Ree, but not really knowing who you were until I moved to LA. Yeah. And then just seeing your you know trajectory trajectory from there, how did the whole Bob's Burgers thing come about? Um, so I, I've been in animation 15 years, right? Okay. Um, but you've just, been drawing your whole life. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. I, I've been drawing since I was three, you okay. know, kind of discovered in the church. You know, uh, most word. people like it, that's how you usually get discovered, like for your vocals, not your <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> vocals or drum playing or piano uh -huh. playing. Um, but for me, I was listening to a sermon. Um, he was talking about Jesus dying on the cross, mm -hmm. and I, I I put that on a tithing envelope. You know, instead of giving, instead of putting your money, yeah, instead in. of giving a dollar, you know, I, I was like, now nah, you're gonna get this talent. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> pay you with this, and, and now that talent is crazy because I didn't give him a dollar, but now that talent is now social currency. Absolutely, yeah. Um, but the, here, but the way Sned started was um, literally just sitting there trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for me. Mm -hmm. No, actually, you wanted to know how Bob's. Got I, I want to know the whole thing. So yeah, yeah, start with you know start with Sned's and how that came about and just. Actually, well, that's actually let's start with Bob's. Okay. <laughs> Let's um, go backwards. <laughs> so, uh, what is this? Damn, seven, eight years ago, um, I was looking for a new job, right? So, in animation, uh, if, on the, if you don't get on a show like Bob's, you're kind of like a gypsy, right? right. You're okay. like a, that you're makes like, sense. You're like a wanderer. Uh -huh. And I, I, but I had steadily jumped from job to job, had multiple jobs in the back. Like I was super Jamaican at one point, <laughs> uh, and then eventually, uh, I got wind of this new project called Bob's Burgers. And then I'm like, okay, you know, let me check it out. And I've been fortunate throughout my entire career to pick the places I want to work on. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, you know, let, let me let me see what you have, and I'll just make decisions <laughs> if yeah, I want to yeah, do it. Yeah, or not. if this works for me, you <laughs> right? know, we'll, we'll negotiate. Yeah, we will talk. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so so I saw Bob's. I saw the pilot, and it's funny. I was just doing when I did my Instagram live. Somebody mentioned this line where Tina says in the pilot, she's like, my crotch is itchy. <laughs> right? She was talking about, and Bob was like, I don't think our grill cook should be talking about their crotches itching. <laughs> right? And when, when I heard lines like that, I was like, I'm in. Nice. Like, this is my type of humor. Uh huh. Um, so, yeah, got into Bob's Burgers, started as a storyboard artist in season one, assistant director in season two, and then been directing for season three on. So, I'm like at 23 aired episodes. I got like another five or six in production right now. Amazing. Um, so, yeah, we, we're. No pun intended, we're cooking. <laughs> uh, now, yeah, how Sneds got started. Uh, Sneds was actually maybe a year, maybe a year before I got on Bob's. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you're working, at, I, I call it not necessarily working in animation, but when you're a commercial artist, right? right? That could apply to a graphic artist. That could apply to anybody basically working for the man. <laughs> True. <laughs> and when you're working for the man, you're essentially a service worker, right? You're doing what other people are telling you. Uh, which is fine because mm -hmm. I'm a well-paid service worker. Absolutely. But the thing is, if you're a real artist, you still want something of your own. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, if I'm going to make something of my own, it's going to be about my passion. So what am I into? Right. And at the time, I was, I was, it was pretty all over the place. And I think number one on my list was like thick women. And I was like, whoa, like, <laughs> I don't know if we can make part. Can we really make cartoons about thick women? Like, I, yes, I'm passionate about big girls, but damn it, like, we got to be a little bit more commercial. Uh, so I was like, okay, let me let me scale back. Uh, so I was like, okay, what are we into? We're into cartoons. We're into hip hop, and uh, you know, we're into sneakers, mm -hmm. right? And I think this was during the time all my life I've kind of dipped in and out of my love of sneakers. It's like a love hate relationship. Okay. At the time, I think this was like what 2008, 2007. Like I'm kind of in love with sneakers again. Right. Um, I think at that point, uh, Kanye, had, uh, the Yeezy was coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, Jordan 11 Space Jams were, were coming mm -hmm. back. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. The foam time. posit. Man, yeah, for real. Nostalgic as fuck right now. Yeah. Yeah. The, the foam posit, the penny foam posit was just coming back. Like yeah. the copper. So it was yeah. like, the, there was energy there. There was even, a resurgence almost. Like even that. though we wouldn't touch those things with a 10 foot pole now. Man. But at the time, that Speak was Speak for yourself. The pearls, the pearls. Them eggplants is dropping mm. this weekend. Uh, you do you, playboy. <laughs> I won't be in <laughs> but But we can gladly take a shoe circle photo. Okay. While okay. you're in those, I'll definitely definitely being something else <laughs> so um, so with with that energy that was happening around sneaker culture at the time what is that 2007 2000 end of 2006 mm -hmm. I'm like yo like I, I really see there's a lane here yeah and I remember a Levi Maestro he was he was hot at the shout time. out to Levi yeah yes. shout out to Levi love All that love dude. love that dude and it's nice to see that he's making videos again. absolutely um, Maestro knows baby yes sir and then uh 
he was making a, he had a he had an interview with somebody and he was talking about you know jumping into industries and you know doing you and he was like uh, don't pay attention to what people are doing pay attention to what people aren't doing mm. so as I'm perusing these blogs you know the nice kicks the sneaker news the shoe games of the world I'm like okay I want to make this comic about all my passions but and I notice I there's a lane for me right Nobody's doing this. So I can bring what I do as a professional, as a professional artist, cartoonist, um, director of cartoons, I can come in here and actually bring what I do into this culture and it'd be solely me. Because mm -hmm. you'd have to come from my world to do it like I do it. Absolutely. And at the time, there was actually, it was crazy enough, there was some kids actually doing it too. Really? Yeah. Um, I don't remember the name, and that's. And I'm not even trying to shame. No them. I, li yeah. I literally don't yeah. remember the name because they la probably lasted maybe two or three months. Okay. And they were doing like some serious comic stuff, like you know, it looked like. Was it was there distribution behind it, or was no, it no, something no. you found? Okay. It was it was actually two people. One of them was these kids that were doing this thing, uh, similar to Snez, but like it lit it it looked like a comic book, like it looked like X Men or some shit. Oh wow! Okay. Can we curse? Oh yeah, all Absolutely. day. That's all you. We're kicking back, baby. Fuck, yeah. filth, foreign, filth, penis, dicks, <laughs> pussies. Anyway, get it out. Yeah, yeah. Just making sure. Okay. Um, but yeah, they had their thing popping um, for a second, and then I, of course I was doing mine, and then there was then some something else came out. Like everything just came and went. Mm -hmm. But I I I persevered. Your consistency kind <laughs> yeah. of kept it. Yeah. Or, or lack of. Because honestly, I could be honest. I am the most non-consistent person <laughs> when it comes to putting out my stuff. Because uh -huh. I it would come out kind of sporadically. I remember when it first came out, I, I grew up like reading comic book books. Like, I had like Foxtrot, like the big thick books. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. Like Calvin mm -hmm. and Hobbes and shit I used like to that. buy those things too. So like you said, when you came out, I totally, I felt that way. Of, like this just isn't happening. You know what I mean? Like no one's doing yeah. comics like about the sneaker culture. And the good right. thing about so, the ones you know, that I remember, w they were very on like on target with drops that were happening right then, yeah. or culturally, Super like you know yeah. what was happening within sneaker culture yeah. and all that. And that's because you you live and breathe it. You know, you're of the the culture. So. Yeah, yeah. You weren't trying to be a part of. it. Yeah. Oh no, not at all. Yeah. And I mean, and trust, I, but I did get flack. You know, early on there was always people. You know the common internet thing, mm -hmm. gay internet thugs, gay. corny. Gay. <laughs> that man is corny really as gay. fuck, <laughs> gay, <laughs> whack. You know, it's like okay, uh -huh. well, that's it. That's that's right. your, that's your criticism, right? So I, I I kept going, but to give you some more genesis about why it was uh, so current. So the reason why it's called Sneds by Ree, obviously my name is Tyree, but um, a lot of people don't know Peanuts. It was Peanuts by Schultz. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. So it, it was the same thing. It was like, but it was about today, uh -huh. it, whatever was going on in our world. So it was purposely insular. Uh, whereas when you look at peanuts, I mean, it was about these kids in their world, right. whatever that was. Yeah. But I wanted it specifically to speak to the sneaker community, you know, using the lexicon of sneakers, you know, as that level of communication, so mm -hmm. we could have that inside talk. Right. And I always right. warned people from the very beginning. Like, you know, what you doing, Tyree? Oh, I'm making this comic about sneakers. And they're like, oh, yeah, show me something. No, you really wouldn't understand what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to need you to see your way out this yeah. A and B conversation yeah. that I'm having with my boys right here. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is not for you. So yeah. if you can yeah, continue you can to keep it pushing. And shit, if the people didn't know, they'd be yeah. like, right. It's about like a foreign language. Or cookies? Or yeah. What are we talking about right yeah. now? What is DS? What's what? an Oreo? Yeah. Why, are people why, wearing, <laughs> why are people wearing bread on their feet? I don't understand. Yeah. What are breads? Like, what? <laughs> Is this new FDA approved products? Like I don't. <laughs> so where were you putting this out? Because 2007, 2008, that was. I mean, the only thing that I can really think of was like Blogspot and 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 like those I'm things. I'm trying at to that think time. about where I first saw it. I, oh, so it had to be through Sneaker News or some sort of. Well, catalog. yeah, like the shoe game and all that. They, yeah, I think they were putting some sort yeah. of. Yeah. yeah. So here's a, so here's some to show you how far back I go with Jeff and Riff. Jeff and shout out to Jeff. Um, Jeff over at Riff LA. I walk into Riff, I, I'm buying something, I forget what it was, Yeah. and uh, he's like, yo man, like I know you. And I'm like, you know me? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, did I? Well, we said tripping was, <laughs> yeah. was really good. <laughs> the, 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 like, I don't, I don't know what's going on, right? No, he was like, no, I know you. He was, and I'm like, okay. He's like, no, like you draw or something, right? I'm like, yeah. He was like, yeah, like I don't know how I know you, but I know you. I'm like, and this is obviously, this is way before Snets. Mm -hmm. He was like, he was like, you know what would be dope? He actually kind of gave me that little kernel at the time. He was like, you know what would be dope? 
if he made a cartoon about sneakers? And I was like, you're absolutely right. <laughs> and then when I was thinking about what I wanted to do, I was yeah. like, okay, but how do I make it? And then that's when I kind of figured it out. Um, so back to where it came from. At the time, yeah, I was publishing on Blogspot. Okay. Then you can still find it, tyree-dillahay.blogspot.com. Damn. And okay. at the time, blogs, a lot like Tumblr and a lot like Instagram, like artists, visual people rule on these platforms mm -hmm. because these are visual mediums. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, yeah, you can actually talk now. I think people, and I, that's why I've been telling stories a lot more lately. Mm -hmm. People are actually getting more into reading. Yeah, um, storytelling like, is huge right yeah. now. Yeah, so sure. it's like okay, kind of getting back to it. But yep. Blogspot was that form for that. Uh, but I was like, okay, but I need a bigger platform, mm -hmm. obviously, than this. And then that's when I was already on the blogs. I was on Nice Kicks in the Shoe Game. So the first people I sent it out were to G-Rock at the Shoe Game and Matt Halfill over at Nice Kicks. Mm -hmm. And they welcomed me with open arms. They were like, nice. hell yeah, that this is sense. dope. Like, That's beautiful. Let's, yeah. let's bring it. Damn. Where did those two in Singers were the first three that I followed religiously. Yeah. 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 That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Where did yeah. the characters come from? Were they like people you knew within <laughs> like your world or did you just kind of like create these guys and just kind of ride with it? Yeah, so it was like... Um, so one of everybody always asks, so is the tall black one, is that you? That's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> right, and I was like, I mean, yes and no. I mean, because if you look at a tall, thin black dude, you're like, that's you, huh? And uh -huh. it's like, no, actually not. <laughs> he um, played basketball, don't he? <laughs> yeah, right? It's like the automatic thing. It's like, well, do you play miniature golf, you small motherfucker? <laughs> like, I don't, is, is that what we're playing? Is that what we're playing right now? What, what sports you play yeah, according to height? wrong with miniature golf. <laughs> <laughs> I know, people are making a lot of money at that shit. You're right, John. <laughs> <laughs> Overseas is big. They got the Euro uh, Miniature nasty. Golf League and My everything. Play game <laughs> nasty. Um, so, nah, the characters, pretty much, uh, up until that point, I was very, I think like any creator, I was taking too much time to make something, mm -hmm. right? Like when it's your own, like you want, you're being all perfect and precious. Right. And it takes I'm, forever to actually put it out because you want it to yeah. be like, yep. So I, I was up there and I was just like, no, we, I, I gave myself a week and I was like, whatever is comes out, like mm -hmm. that's what it is. So I created four characters. I just wanted, and it was really just about, it was about the visuals, how they look. I wanted a tall, skinny dude. I wanted a, a, a short, pudgy guy. Mm -hmm. and that's then like I like us, Dana. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, we, we, all <laughs> like, we look funny together. I love it. Hey, yeah. whoa. I mean. You might be onto something. I didn't want to, you know, I kind of planted that seed in his head and Yo. it's, you know, a little bit of inception. Uh. We're going to talk about that off camera. Y'all motherfuckers can't have that shit just yet. Um, but it was just about shape. So it's like tall, skinny black dude, little short, pudgy dude, a big, like a big dude, mm -hmm. and then a girl. Yeah. Like you, and then, so over the, when I was publishing it on these things, I used to do these big comic strips, which was an ode to um, Little Nemo strips that Windsor McKay used to create in like the 20s mm -hmm. or something like that. They used to do these big fold outs. Right. Like if you open up the newspaper, it would take up an entire page. Wow, okay. So it, uh, that was cool, we started doing that. And when I say we, I had a friend of mine that also works in animation, he was a colorist, mm -hmm. Nick Lachiotis. I had him coloring with me. So I would draw and write and then he would color. And that's why it gave it this fresh, funky look. Yeah. A lot of a lot of younger um, visual artists that are coming up these days, like they they would always point back to yo those color like uh -huh. the inspiration. So that's dope. Nice. And then um, later, so then as we move forward, then Instagram came out, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. then Instagram. Well, now you can actually do slides, but before it was just one picture. So when it was one picture, I was like, well, I got to scale back. Right. So you got to cram all this information into one image. So then that's when the storytelling became one panel comics. Mm -hmm. And then when you're non sequiturs. Yeah, yep. exactly. Yep. Like they, there's yep. no there's no serials. Like it's just whatever's going on at the time. And it's just bam. Punchline or excuse me, set up punchline. Just mm -hmm. classic joke telling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then every time I had an explosion on inter on Instagram, it was when I usually had a break or a hiatus from work. Uh, and it was just like, just pour all this creative energy yeah. out. And that was when, that I mean, sense. I had a couple of runs where I would publish them every day for like a week and a half. And people just eat like, it up. Like, like, right. And then I get back to work and then it's back into the dungeon. And, and that's when it kind of died out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That then, makes sense. Yeah. But, it's, but it's crazy because every time I do come back, it's like I never left. 
because yeah. it's still nothing there to replace it until you motherfuckers actually release this animated shit that you're doing. <laughs> um, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> nah, that's beautiful, man. And it's, you know, I think the one, I can't even, there's been so many beautiful ones that have come out, but the one that's like popping out in my head right now is like, uh, the tall skinny black dude was like bent over to take a photo of his shoes or something. He had skit marks in his drawers. <laughs> and like, like this is a little funny one? shit. Like, what's that? The Instagram one? I think it was. Yeah, yeah he yeah. was like trying to flex for the gram, yeah, but then like, old buddy was like. Yeah, he was like, yo, what are you doing? He was like, I'm taking a picture of my kids. <laughs> <laughs> and no, but here's the crazy thing. All of those comics, all of them, come from real real situations. That's, like, that's, that was what I was going to add. That's why I was asking about the them. characters. I didn't know. Yeah. All of them. Like, uh, so another one was uh, the tallest, when Joggers was popular, right? Mm-hmm. And there was a couple. Oh, they're not? It was, yeah. What? Oh. oh. Yeah. Well, you know, well, for, actually, I do me. <laughs> when Joggers first came out, it started gaining popularity. No, that's all good. You ain't got to try and make me feel no, better. No, no, no. Nah, no. I don't care. It's, all, it's good, whatever. You don't fuck with my phones, you don't fuck with my Joggers. All right, I'm just, I'm not keeping tally or nothing, but. <laughs> so, at, look, at the time, you know, people were hating on Joggers, right? Mm-hmm. Because everybody was still phasing out of baggy jeans, so they True. really understand, yeah. like, wait, what's the tighter clothing, you know, what's, right. what's going on here? But it got to the point where, you know, some joggers, they were looking like long johns. <laughs> so I had this one where, you know, the guy is like, he was like, yo, check me out. Got these joggers on sale from Target, kid, $12. And the dude's looking at it, he's like, those aren't joggers, those are long johns. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, <laughs> so it was, it was it, but I'm, I'm actually, I was making, I was poking fun at myself. Uh-huh. Because I, I had bought into it too. I mean, I still do. Right. Um, I mean, but numerous situations, the thing about, you know, priorities. You know, people not paying their bills, but, you know, ready to get some new J's. Yeah, but waiting in line for some J's to drop. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it's like the one I did with that one, he's like, they're sitting in the dark and you just see eyes and teeth. And the guy's <laughs> yeah, like, and then one of them's right. asking, you know, they're bad. It's like, you didn't pay the light bill? Yeah. He's like, nope, but I got the new Would've Jordans. got new J's, though. <laughs> again. A real life situation. <laughs> no, I got the new J's, though, again. Right, so it was like it's because they releasing the same shit release. over and so, over. So it hits you in like so many layers, <laughs> right? Like priorities. You bought shoes, and then you didn't pay the bill again to buy the, the new Jays again. again. <laughs> <laughs> so like all these things, like oh, just, just hitting people on levels with this with the social commentary through the vehicle of that's sneakers. Dope, yeah, that's man. why you always knew it was so genuine. Yeah, it's it was yeah, you could good. not yeah. make that shit up. Like, yep. Yeah. That's so, it's so real. But speaking of Jays and, oh, go ahead. I mean, cut you off. <laughs> when you're talking about genuine. So the animated one I did, uh, uh, they're sitting in front of Shoe Palace. So this, I did this for Shoe Palace. And um, they're camping out for Yeezys or they're in line for Yeezys. Mm-hmm. He was like, man, how are we going to get some, how are we going to get Yeezys? Everybody in line, they even got babies in line. And he's pointing to a, a baby carriage. And a grown man pops out like a little midget with a full grown <laughs> beard. And he's like, hey, who you calling the baby? And the dude's like, oh, my bad, my bad, big homie. <laughs> he, was like, he was like, I didn't know that it was you. I couldn't, I couldn't see your mustache. And then, like, after it cuts off the black, he's like, yo, I swear that was James Harden, right? So it, it's, it's, but those are real situations. And let me tell you about the story. So people were in line just to get raffle tickets for sneaker, for, mm-hmm. for the Yeezys that came out. And to get the ticket, they were actually giving it to children, like a five-year-old. Oh, my goodness. So uh, this happened at the Nike vault. I forget one of these Kobe's that came out. A kid at the Down game. Was Stable Center? Yeah. yeah. The okay. Stable Center when the vault was happening. Yep. The kid got a ticket. He won. But the rule was if you're going to get the kids the ticket, you actually have to give them the money and have to walk in and go buy the shoes by themselves. Ooh. They give this kid $250. He's like six years old. He can't even fucking count. And he's up there, like when he gets to the counter, it's literally just like he just puts all the he just money puts on the money on the table. It's just like <laughs> yeah, the shoes. This has happened a oh few times. Oh my goodness! This happened a few times. And like these, all these situations are real. I, I mean, like, and I he can, came out with a size twelve. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. He's like wearing as big as he was. Yeah, he's wearing a three Y, and he fucking drove out that motherfucker <laughs> in the twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, sneakerheads are outrageous. <laughs> uh, all right, man, enough about you. 
Um, no, fuck me. <laughs> fuck me. We didn't heard, we didn't heard enough out of your mouth about what you do and why that you're so cool why you're so great. Yeah, cool story. Um, uh, yeah, on to the next. No, <laughs> no, but let's get into some current events, man. And what I was you know going into earlier, we were talking about Jordans. Uh, Travis Scott just debuted what seems to be his collaboration with Jordan Brand on a Jordan Trunner. Um, he debuted him on the Damn Tour with Kendrick Lamar the earlier damn this tour. week. <laughs> damn, the damn tour. tour. Got it. Yeah. Uh, he wore a pair during his show at the Barclays Center, flying around on the the Eagle and, and what have you. And he actually the the reason this this story broke was because there was a kid that chased him down as yeah. he was leaving the venue, and I think he said he's followed him for like twenty something blocks. And because he was so loyal and so dedicated, uh, Travis actually took the shoes off of his feet, signed them, and gave them to the young kid. Um, Stalking work. And this was yes. A, let this, be a, right. yeah. let this hey. be a lesson, young it's, trolls. This is a, <laughs> yeah. This is <laughs> a lesson. It was all worn out because Travis was running away from that fucking kid. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "I'm done with these shit." This is a lesson of persistence, <laughs> not stalking. We would love them. to be clear on that. You can have him. Um, <laughs> now, what do you think about this? Because uh, his inspiration, he said. You know, when he's looked at the Trunners before, nobody has ever really gotten wild with the colors and the, the patterns and things like that. What are your thoughts on this? I mean, I remember the Trunner when it came. Roy Jones used to wear the shoe, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember it. I mean, look, I think it's... Hmm. How do I say this? Hmm. And be <laughs> Whack? This man's got to be PC. We know how this goes. There's a disclaimer <laughs> before the show. It's there is a disclaimer. None of these views expressed will reflect you in any of your employers or any projects that you are involved in. <laughs> the, the legalese has been spoken. The, um, I mean, I personally wouldn't wear them. Okay, uh, that's that's valid. Me but either. I think I think. But here's what I will say: positive. It is a testament to uh, the power of influence. That Absolutely, you can, that yeah. That you can take a shoe pretty much out the vault that nobody was thinking about mm -hmm. and make it hot and relevant again. Most definitely. And we have seen the resurgence of the Trunner, I think, just in 2017. But it's been a few of just the regular basic colorways. I know Drake had an OVO uh, colorway he did for, I believe it was when they opened a Jordan store in Toronto. Mm. Um, Those were solid. But, yeah, but it was color blocking. on the, on the Tra ones. Cactus Jacks. Oh, on the OVO, yeah, so, yeah. But see, the OVOs are still just as basic as white and black and gold. You know, that's yeah, very that, that's OVO. OVO. Yeah. Yeah. The, the Cactus Jacks, the Cactus Jacks are, like, the colorway is sick. Mm -hmm. All right, like, Mr. Pastel. All <laughs> yeah, I get why you like them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can see yeah, you. Yeah, John is like, this is totally me. Color, <laughs> colors aside, I can't <laughs> see you in those. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this shit's sick. Like, the colorway is dope. But the shoe itself, like, I feel like people are getting a, like, I, for me, I asked some questions to somebody high up at Nike regarding, uh, and I was getting real answers, and I, I asked a question about Travis getting a shoe, and uh, I was told no, but maybe I phrased it wrong, because, like, maybe <laughs> maybe in his, maybe the way that I should have phrased it wasn't getting a shoe. Maybe that means get your own signature shoe. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, that's definitely, no. Nah. Yeah, yeah. I was told no. And I got pissed when I saw this fucking thing. <laughs> but it looks like a fucking croc mixed with a Jordan mixed with a Birkenstock. Oh, my style. God. Oh. Ooh. No, it the does. Oh, uh, it's it, blasphemous. It indeed It has does. a Teva. I love feel. the Trunner. The, the Velcro yeah. straps. Y'all just ain't got the right feet. I haven't seen the Cactus Jack until you, right now. You got, you, got, <laughs> like, you got thick feet. It, they ain't going to work in that. Feet. I got the long skinny joints. That's going to look good on my, maybe not the that'll, Cactus that'll Jack. That's going to look clunky my, on you even. Bro, in my outdated joggers, those are going to go so hard. A size 14 of these. <laughs> you like, you know, remember good. when I, people used to wear joggers <laughs> and, <laughs> and fucking long t-shirts and braids and baseball caps? <laughs> <laughs> Man, fuck all y'all. <laughs> I don't care. This is my preference, man. No, I, I appreciate them. And I do think, you know, the color is a little funky, like, but it's not so overpowering that it's unwearable. No, it's, I mean, look. But everybody's got their own opinion. Yeah. Everybody's got their own opinion. Yeah. Like, I can only come from the perspective of if I would wear it. Right. And in my, sure. my, in my current state of mind, mm -hmm. when it comes to what I'm wearing, it's, it doesn't look like that. That is any, anywhere near of what I'm wearing right no, now. No, it's like yeah, that's, it, that's it, not the mode. But if it, it was an Air Max silhouette, you would be all about it. Because those colors? With the no, colors. No, no, no. no? You wouldn't even still then? Yeah. All day. Huh. 
We already know you. Yeah, we you, got you. Yours is, yeah. <laughs> your vote has been accounted for, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. I guess I'm I man out on this one, but I I would actually wear those if you know they came in size you know water ski. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm all for it. I guess I'm surprised because when we did these in the news the other day, you didn't say you had no opinion. It was on an it. unbiased, yeah. It wasn't yeah. A, a, an opinion on it because it was just me reporting on what was happening. But I appreciate them. You know, I think that we don't actually we don't know the timing of when they're going to release. So I don't know if this is you know just a, a sample that happened to make it out, and then because of that, they decided to put a press release out or what. But uh, I think this would have. I'll been let like, you guys know. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think this would have been better for like early spring, you know, into the summer type yeah. of thing. Oh, no, sure. definitely. Because like, this, it, with, you know, us coming up on fall and holiday season, I don't think this has any place, you know, on shelves. But who knows? So basically, uh, I'm the only one that is appreciative of these. Great. Yep. Good to know. <laughs> Make sure that I get some, uh, some royal blue joggers and uh, <laughs> continue to do the damn thing. Liddy. In, in the most outdated way possible. <laughs> what do you um, think happens? Do you think when somebody get like, like, all right, cool, you're an ambassador now. Do you think it comes to a point where it's like, yo, man, like, I really want my own shoe. Like, you're telling your, your dude, like, you really want that shoe. And then they're just like, well, we're saving all this hot shit over here. Um, you could pick from this box yeah. over here. Yeah, I literally, that, that is what's happening. Because it's like, Nah, yeah. it's like, no, nah, homie, you can't touch the Jordan 3. Mm-hmm. But you, you ain't can there fuck, yet. You can fuck with this Trenner. Right, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's see what you can do with this. I and, then, and, and that's what I'm saying. It speaks to the power. Calvin didn't get a sure. goddamn Trenner. <laughs> I, I, I like being limited creatively. So it was like, yeah, you want you want to have maybe the uh, your shot at these three models? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like this was probably a part, like, in the, I don't know if there was a contract or some sort of negotiation, but you know how he did Air Max Day and they shut down La Brea mm-hmm. and it was like the that whole Vapor Max, awesome. <laughs> the whole Vapor Max, uh, you know, debut and all that. I feel like for him to do that, maybe in his negotiation, he was like, well, let me get a shoe or do something with Jordan brand. You know, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, the only thing I can speak to that is as, as much as people think they are together, they are truly separate. Mm-hmm. Like this is a Jordan product and the thing over at uh, La Brea, mm-hmm. like that's Nike sportswear. Mm-hmm. Like they are, they are separate. Right. So it's just like, but once you get into the Nike family, I mean, I, got, I cl- clearly I'm not touching any shoes yet. Mm-hmm. But I mean, but I when I do that deal, was strong yet. Yeah. <laughs> with, when I deal with Jordan or I deal with Nike, like, these are totally separate. Right. To- and they do not talk to one they another. They don't operate the same at no. all. Okay. <laughs> that's well, that's more information than I knew. So yeah. that's that's really better good understanding. To know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Well, now that I have just camera, been our our cameraman Frankie just bought a pair of shoes. What'd you buy? Um, white on white SBs, dunk high. Holy shit! He got white on white. He got white. white. Yeah. Classic. This man is Whoa. dirty, y'all. He, 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 <laughs> he gets in the dirt and gets the camera shot. This sounds like a horrible fucking idea. Yeah. yeah. Right. White on white. Sounds like a the job for I Jason sent you Mark. He was all black on black. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, those are for, not for work. It's for going out. Okay. Oh, uh, right. okay. He not safe his, for work. He not, got his stepping out joints. And not to a concert right after agenda with some brand new white. Yeah. Yo, let me live, oh, man. Yeah. It was oh, ludicrous. That was my like middle middle school, like early high school. He played all the hits. We had a black mosh pit to move, bitch. It was incredible. <laughs> Classic, he came legendary. Back all I'm like, dude, your shoes look. Fuck. I was. He was like, fuck these shoes. I was Do you so understand? Happy. It was the second wear on my zebra Yeezys, which, by the way, they re-released, so it ain't like they super limited no more anyway. But back then, he was. You know, you didn't know what was hey, happening. Let me, let me live, man. <laughs> let me live. No, no but I yeah, we. I was out there and I was like, you know what? I got to sacrifice. Like, I can either be the dude that's standing back trying to watch his shoes, like, just moving, two-stepping. Right. Or I could really be in this. And, like, my 14-year-old self was so proud of me. Yes. Like, it was just yeah. it was yes. a beautiful time. Guys, I just wanted to let you know that I, too, got the white shoes memo today. Oh! oh. Glad I didn't wear those. Well, what today. happened, Dano? <laughs> White yeah. shoes, baby. It's summer. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of white. Summer. Mm, there's white patches. White leather toe. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just gave you a compliment earlier today that I said I liked yeah, you in white shoes. All white. Yeah, so you need to step your game up. Fast play. breaks coming. You need to figure it. Oh yeah, you yeah. did just order those. Uh, now, what do I got next on my list? Let me let me check out the handy dandy iPad. Um, oh yeah, 
Have you heard about um, John Mayer like basically taking the Nike collaboration into his own hands instead of doing an official collaboration? Really? Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you what this man did. Hmm. Um, he created a pair of was it Air Max Ones or Air Max Nineties? Uh, Air Max Nineties on Nike ID, and basically created this color blocking. Did what he wanted to do. Put all these features into it, and bought up every size that he could. Yeah. All the sizes, not just one of each, all the sizes. Right, right. <laughs> and he said that he waited until the shoe, uh, the features on that shoe were discontinued. Mm -hmm. And he was going to, yeah, you couldn't like arrange that. that, the materials were different. And now he is set to sell them on his Shopify page as his own unofficial Nike collaboration. Ooh, is he about to get in trouble? Like, see, I don't know. Like, how does that I don't work? Know how that works. Well, it depends. Like, I don't know. I don't know what his situation is with Nike. Right. Like, I mean, he rocks Nike. He does. Oh yeah. And then obviously John Mayer is he's, he's kind of a he's popular kind of a, guy. Yeah. 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 You know? I think a few people know yeah. him. Yeah. 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 I've you know. heard of him. Yeah. yeah. You've heard well, of him. Debatable. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> look at your skin tone. Let's just be real. <laughs> so he's my brother. <laughs> I mean, so it. Hmm. I mean, it's a gray area, but it's a gray shoe. <laughs> is it? Is it? It is actually. Super Jack, can, we can we get a look at this? Yeah, it's why he was questioning which which Air Max it was because it's super ninety five, like inspired. <laughs> oh hmm. yeah, because it's it's light the gray, dark gray airbag. with the Volt airbag. Like, there's a lot of you know inspiration from. I mean, that. look, John Mayer fans will support that. I'm sure. Because it's technically his. You ain't gotta be so Jack PC. <laughs> no, I mean they would like John, the, but I'm specifically saying John. The Mayer people that groove to White electric guitar. Yeah. <laughs> the people that groove to electric guitar and not drum and bass will definitely enjoy. This they shit. will buy this shit. Air Max is a wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> they, now, what do you? I, we were just kind of having our own conversations about this when we first saw it. Do you think this is some like? side marketing that Nike might be doing or it, it very well could be uh -huh. or to push Nike ID to push it, ve that, it very well could right. and it's funny I I actually had a similar idea mm -hmm. to do that to like get this colorway but then I was going to do some additional stuff like some custom work custom, to oh, it right. mm -hmm. and then like make my own buy a size run and do it because I mean that kind of um it eliminates some of the customization process. Yeah, you know, it's like okay, you get the colorway, but then I wanted then to do, add your own do little a little extra. Uh -huh. I mean, but I mean, we see it all the time. I mean, with true customization, you know, people like Shoe Surgeon, um, that <coughs> deconstruct. Uh, he shoe. is actually a shoe maker. We yes. have uh, we yes. have gone through this process yeah. before. Please do not call yeah. him a customizer. My on bad, our Dominic. My bad. Uh, Dom, Don't. We love you. You are a shoemaker. We understand the <laughs> art that goes into it. Please. Please understand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No disrespect, Dominic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know. You know. You my man. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, again, power of influence. Exactly. I just bought a whole bunch of Nike IDs. I got umpteen million followers. Mm -hmm. What's what's what is it? He might have a hundred pairs of shoes. I'm just right. guessing. Right. I don't think he'll have a problem selling a hundred pairs of shoes those, right. when you got umpteen million followers. And he's got disposable income to do something <laughs> yeah, like that exactly. and purchase. And, and now that people have picked up on it and there's a story behind it, even though it is a very GR colorway. Yeah, I think these photos are from GQ. Really? Yeah. Like, that, doesn't make, that doesn't confirm surprise that? me. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's like, that. He's yeah, got that's that privilege. definitely out there. This there's whole yeah. story. Yeah, there's a little bit of Caucasian privilege in that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but uh, but again, uh, power of influence. The fact that it's in GQ. Absolutely. So it's like I've already gotten some traction in GQ, mm -hmm. and then I'm doing it through my social media channels. Yeah. I mean, look, none of this stuff. I mean, but it's but it's dope because it's still it's still an organic movement. Yeah. But seeds have already been planted the whole way. Right. Like if you're able to use your your status as a celebrity. I mean, to push product, it just makes life a lot more easier. I agree. Now, I will say just, and this has nothing to do with that, but I would like to see some type of movement behind that, whether it be proceeds going towards sure. some sort some of sort organization of oh, yeah. or yeah. have some sort of cause tied to it because, you know, you spend the money on ID. I don't know. We don't the, know what he's paying, I think, or what he's selling them for. Excuse me. Uh, the shoes are dropping, I believe, on July 29th. Like, he's put a date on his Instagram and all that. Uh, so we'll see at that time. But, you know, it would be nice to see some sort of, you know, cause go into yeah, it or whatever. To expand the story. Trunk like that. Yeah, you're sitting on a trunk that's got your initials <laughs> a, on it. Yeah, like, that's a Louis trunk. And um, 
and you're painting on it. It costs some money. It's, yeah. a, it's a few dollars, yeah. you know, but that... Like a $60,000 trunk. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't going to throw no numbers out there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but, but since you said it. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. since you have reference material. Um, John has never you been to a You should send a pair to mayor. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I think that, you know, it would have been cool. And, and who knows? Like I said, it hasn't actually dropped yet. So who knows that there may be a backstory. Uh, Mr. Mayor, if you're watching this or listening on Dash Radio, uh, you know, you can take that idea and run with it. The first one's free. That's all you, buddy. Uh, <laughs> but no, what, do you think this is a, a smart idea, I guess, just to kind of take it into your own hands? And I really just like, yeah. I mean, that's, that's yeah. the generation that we're in. You know, mm. uh, more DIY. DIY yeah. I was going to say those exact words. We yeah. talked to a lot of people at Agenda. Agenda. That's what yep. they, everyone was focused on that being the future or the current state of footwear of like people, because re- customization's gotten so much better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not just people like painting on white Air Forces and stuff. It's right. Yeah. You can really do yeah, some yeah. wild shit and yeah, actually it act- looks, it can be better than the factory. Mm-hmm. Shoe. Yeah. 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 And I fully support that stuff. Definitely. Yeah. I don't have enough of those myself. But I'm working on it. I'm working Slowly. On it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Slowly but surely. Well, shout out to John Mayer. You know, if, I hope it goes well for him. I would never wish anything ill on him. So I, I no. do hope that, Respect. you know. Respect. <laughs> yeah, I do hope that. Respect uh, John Mayer. Hey, and, and anybody uh, that's a friend of Dave Chappelle is a friend of mine. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nah, I love it. I think, you know, like I said, I would have liked to have seen more story and, you know, something behind it but you know it's the first of its kind who knows it might happen again or you know whatever goes on from there so be cool to see um, okay cool so that's two stories about people that don't have real collaborations great <laughs> no nah, nah, don't talk about travis like that that's that's official Cat, jack let's get it straight it doesn't say travis scott on the fucking shoe come on everybody got but it's travis egos. scott's cactus jack yeah, yeah come on who's cactus jack he sprinkles a little seasoning on the cactus I mean, wait. No, on the salad. Excuse me. He strokes his cactus. I think there's some licensing issues involved in that. I think so. (laughs) On to a a little bit more. Uh uh, This is a a stronger uh, a topic. It's (laughs) it's something that pops up. (laughs) No, no. I feel like it's it's relevant and needs to be spoken on. Um, Something that popped up online. I believe it was last week. Um, ASAP Bari was Ooh. caught. I don't want to say caught. Allegedly um, caught in an altercation with a, a lady in a hotel room uh, when a video emerged allegedly showing Bari sexually assaulting a woman. Uh, the video showed a woman having bed sheets pulled off of her by a man who appeared to be Bari, who was then heard on camera saying. And I quote, you fucked my assistant. Now you're going to suck my dick. Uh, This woman is clearly distressed. And a few seconds later, the man's voice is heard saying, shut the fuck up, bitch. Bari has since denied the allegations, uh, but we haven't heard anything from Nike. Now, he did put out a, um, you know, an apology. The video has since been deleted. But, you know, when you put anything on the Internet like that, it spreads like wildfire instantaneously. do you think that it's Nike's place to make a statement on this with him having, you know, the V loan collaboration? And oh, yeah. And things no, that I mean, I'm, right now? I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. All I'll say is I wouldn't be surprised, and I don't mean to rhyme, <laughs> if they sever ties. <laughs> they are going to run as fast as they fucking can. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I mean, not to, to, I'm not, in no defense to him, they're, they always, they're saying like allegedly it was him. You know, mm-hmm. once it's confirmed, like there's no That's, facts, facts. Right, exactly. But I mean, we can assume that it's that it's him, or like, what else is the story? I, and I think if it's true, then yeah, absolutely, Nike's gonna be like, yeah, I'm sorry, bro. I mean, that's not you a good. You said it yourself. Every living creative ties a loom, so you gotta, <laughs> gotta step back. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah I, th- that's yeah. a hard one, man. Especially <laughs> even. Um, ASAP Rocky on yep. stage well, at Agenda well, well, Fest. I've heard about that. Yeah, he came out and, you know, called, allegedly called, not allegedly, there there are videos of him calling Bari a bitch and, and not agreeing with what happened. So it's like if your own, you know, squad You're not being members. You're like, your own crew. Yeah, your right, own people's like, got a sever ties. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like so that's, that's not a good brand, look. Not a good look. I mean, that's, that, I mean, all I, I've never met dude. Um, sure. I'm, 
I'm really I'm really tentative about speaking on you know another man's business, of but course, right. but given the information, all I could say is I wouldn't be surprised if they sever ties. Yeah. Um, like yeah, what else? What else? What a, else? <laughs> and and that's the thing too is I'm I wouldn't be surprised either. I guess my whole stance on it is why are they taking so long to speak up and have a stance? Oh, I mean, yeah. well, that's the thing. If if the American way is, mm -hmm. or you you would hope, is to give due process. Mm -hmm. So you got to wait till the, for the, the process. The, well, yeah, yeah, to yeah. take its effect. You got to wait and, for the factual evidence to yeah, really and, be and for a, and be for a, a, a an actual declaration of of guilty or not guilty. Right. To, to come about yeah I mean you you want that um, you would hope you would get it right, right. And that, that that's why it's not a swift yeah immediate yeah, yeah. no For sure. we are out you know mm -hmm. we, we're not we're not messing with him like but uh, but obviously the cohorts and uh, people within the camp have already they already separated themselves yeah, they don't they, they scattered yeah yeah <laughs> um, it's definitely uh, it's you know that type of whether it was him or not or whatever is still you know to be determined but that type of behavior is just oh, yeah, not no. condoned no we don't condone in any that setting, you know we don't that, condone that at all it's just not a it's not a good look and you know i i, I hope the best for the young lady that was involved in this and you know i hope that yeah, she can for sure you know move forward and not be so damaged from this you know mentally emotionally physically however like that that it's it's uh it's sad to see young black males, you know, in a light like that when you have so many opportunities at yeah, your fingertips I mean, mm -hmm. at that time. You Look, know? I mean, that's the thing. Uh, people tell me, well, not tell me all the time, but I mean, I'm sure you've heard this. It's one thing, it's one thing to get to the top, but can you stay, stay there? there. Yep. <laughs> can yep. you stay there? And it's and it's mistakes like this, and you know, from big to small, you know, mm -hmm. that'll knock you off. Absolutely. Real quick in a heartbeat. Yeah. Man, well, that Yo. just got real somber. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's no, talk about no, these no, awesome this, shoes here. Can, uh, yeah. Can, can, can you open that box up in front? There of we go. <laughs> We're all the same page. Same page. Yes. Do, do I do this? Or yeah. yeah. So Hello. this, up? this is something that we're just starting. Where did you bring us. This is something that we're just starting here on the kickback. Um, if you're listening to this right now, what we are doing, we have- I'm knighting it. <laughs> well, uh, we're gonna have all of our guests bring a shoe that is near and dear to them or something that they feel would be very topical for the kickback. So Tyree, please tell the listeners and the viewers what you brought for us today. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm, let me just start off by saying I am, I'm not a collector, Okay. right? So you look at these bottom of these shoes, they've been worn. They got mileage on them. Yeah. They definitely got is, mileage. Is that, is that shit? Like what? <laughs> it might be doo doo. No, it's not. Okay. Yeah. You might, <laughs> might want to clean this afterwards. I, <laughs> no, so recently on Instagram, I saw um, Sean Wortherspoon. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, he Wether. posts. Yeah, I, I, I'm always confused if I should say Wother or Weather. Like you want to say Weather? You want to say Weather? Wather? Yeah. Wather? Is that Wather? Watherspoon. Wather? Sorry, Sean, for, for I don't know. If, uh, for Sean W from round yeah. two. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sean, Sean, Sean from Sean. round two. He posted a picture of these and he said he just got them from Shoeseum. Obviously, we know who Shoeseum yep. is. This dude's got a crazy collection. And he's been selling everything off. As yeah. Of late. Like just getting, yeah. Yeah, I getting, mean, because, I mean, let's, let's face it, you know, with any, with any collection from, from, from any genre that you're into, at some point you're gonna part with your collection. Absolutely. Cause it's I like, well, I'm recently. sitting on too much shit right, right. here. Mm -hmm. And I don't care how big your <laughs> space is. You're just, at some point you look at all this shit and you're just like, this has gotta go. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> like we all go through it. I, I don't care. It's a big fucking item to be collecting too. It's not like stamps. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They're not, they don't sit like little, in this tight little album, you know, that you can pull out every now and check yeah. out my stamps guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, he posted these shoes, and and, um, and the crazy thing was, uh, Shoeseum. He was like, you know, shout out to Shoeseum for giving me these shoes. Uh, I can't wait to put them on. And Shoeseum was in the comments like, I cannot believe you're about to wear these. Oh, shit. And then I commented, I was like, shit, I wore mine. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the reason why I bought these, again, I I'm not a collector. Uh, shoes are not a fetish to me. I don't sit there and stare at them and just uh, like. I actually get down and wear these things. So um, apparently these this is this is the eight of eight pair. I think Sean had, I don't know, 
three of eight or something like that. Whoa. This is a size 13. I got these maybe like five years ago. And well, I kid you not, uh, when I, actually just, it was probably longer than that. This is an interesting story. A guy on Soul Collector was selling these and one of the Air Maxes from the whole M&M charity auction. Mm -hmm. And I saw these and lost my shit because I didn't know there was a size 13. Right. And I was hitting him up like a fucking hype beast for real. I was like, yo, I got to get him. I got to get him. <laughs> like, what's up? And he was like, he was like, yo, bro, you got some references or anything? I was like, no, I got to get them. And I was like, what do you mean references? I was like, Google Tyree Dillahay. That should be right. all the references. Google me, Yeah, bro. I, had, I had to hit him with the Google me card. I'm like, you're good. Like, I just want the shoes. Uh -huh. Now he's like, nah, like, you've seen, like, this seems weird. Like, you're too excited. I was like, I'm excited because I want the motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. I was like, give me the shoes. You want somebody like, that don't give a fuck about yeah, it? What do you yeah. Mean? yeah. So shout out to that dude. It's been a minute, because uh, I don't remember his name when he when he gave me the shoe. And I got it for a great price. Mm -hmm. um, there's been a few people that have hit me up, like, yo, you got those? Let me get them. And I, I haven't let them go. Well, you um, tell the people exactly what it is that you have. You know. um, so yeah, people who aren't watching. Yeah, for the I, listeners. Like I said, and, and I'm sorry, I, I don't really, I know what this is, but I can't give you the full information. You know, some people, right. this was created in two. I, I'm not that dude. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. All I can tell you is Eminem personally signed this shoe. It's part of that whole charity auction. There's like a bunch of shoes, like an Air Max 90, um, a Burst, these. But the reason why I was attracted to these, uh, and, it, and it's dated 2006, the reason why I was attracted to these is because you do not see them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You do not see these. Right. This is like a unicorn for real. And when I saw them, and it, you see it's like in a Stussy kind of colorway. Yeah, it's got the yeah. like Neapolitan, yeah. like yeah. linen I, type I was of like, yeah. I, I, I was like, that's it, because uh -huh. I never got the linens. Uh -huh. um, I even didn't get the Stussies, and I was yeah, like. I had to part ways with those, but I had those as well. Yeah, yeah and I was like, I, I just got to have them. Um, Beautiful. But again, it was I, I brought these out specifically because people always trip out about you know wearing a limited pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. And me, you know, I, I'm a shoe wearer, kind of a connoisseur, but I'm more into like if I like it, it's going to get worn. Like I don't care how much it costs. That's the reason why I bought it. Mm -hmm. I didn't buy anything just to sit up. Yeah, <laughs> Eventually, that. it's but that's the whole thing, man. Is you got to enjoy your shit too. Because yeah. I don't know if it's for you guys, but for me, it's like. Freaky There's that, camera, that moment to? of either the hunt or the cop, however it ended up being. But it's like that moment where you like you get it, whether you whether it fell in your lap or you worked hard to get it. But there's that moment like, ah, yeah, I got this shit and you feel great. But then you just go and you kind of just put it away in the closet and that feeling fades away pretty fucking quickly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But then when you wear it again, you get that feeling again. <laughs> you get to go start. You get to feel good. Like you put this shit on. And you're like, yeah. You know so. what I'm saying? Like that pair, that one pair will bring me joy. Every time I put it on, versus just the one time when I bought it and then stuffed it in the closet. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, I feel you on that. So, well, Tyree, tell us, uh, you know, what you got coming up, man. I know we saw little glimpses of the Snets characters and StockX TV thing and and all that. What's some uh, projects you got coming up that you can speak on for us, you know, right now? Um, actually, that's all I can speak on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everything else I got going on is. Uh, uh, pretty secretive and if I throw stuff out people be like yo that's a great idea we should do that shit too ah, yeah. and then all of a sudden yeah. it's like out into the ether um, but real quick on these shoes again I want to give a shout out to Sean for, for wearing his shit mm -hmm. like that's so important like he purposely had been hunting the shoe down so he could put it on his damn feet and like you said and get that hit Yeah, <laughs> you know because yeah. I, know, I know what it's like because like, when I got him I was geeked the hell out my damn self and I think I wore him immediately so um, it's but yeah, yeah. project-wise, um, season eight on Bob's Burgers. Mm -hmm. um, Look out for that. I think I still think that's about to bubble, man. Like, y'all might be <laughs> on to something. Can you tell yeah, us one, one of the special yeah, burgers? You're something. <laughs> huh? Can you say one of the special burgers? It's gonna be on the I board. Don't, I don't know any of them. Okay, I don't shit. know any of them. <laughs> Fuck me, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, because like, there's always some food that I've never like. Like, I don't even know what that is. That's know? that some other writer that's specifically for the weird burgers? Yeah, it's like, no, it's, well, it's, they come up with it by committee, right? But what I'm, what I'm saying is, it'll be some food, like, that I've never heard of, you know? Some weird ingredient? Yeah, it's yeah, like okay. something that you might have seen on Chopped, where you're mm -hmm. like, what the, I've never heard of that, what the <laughs> yeah. fuck is that? And, yeah, it'll, exactly. and then that'll be part of the burger, so it's like, uh, that's why I can't remember it, because okay. it's like some, <laughs> some alien food that I had I, to ask, I had to you know, ask. <laughs> 
But yeah, so Bob's Burgers. Yeah, do I have time for a one minute shout out? You actually shout-out? don't because we have literally one minute left. So <laughs> yeah, we're done. Sir. A we're one done. minute shout out. A quick shout out. Make it quick. You got seven seconds. Uh, yeah, I want to give a shout out to Samir because I yelled at him for not ever sending me any sneakers from Asics, and then finally he did send me some sneakers from Asics. But they have this like weird vagina tongue on it. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I don't know. But they are comfortable as fuck. So thank you for sending me the shoes, and I do wear them. Shoes. Maybe that's why they're Hell comfortable. Yeah. Yep, you got a vagina on your foot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you want to put your you're foot in me. Gushy. Oh man, we gotta wrap this up. Tyree, please tell the people where they can find you. I'm at Sneds by Re on Twitter and Instagram, and. That's all I got. I'm not on Facebook. I don't want you to hit me on Facebook. Yeah, he ain't that old of a head. Yeah, yet. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> you can find me Twitter and Instagram underscore Jesus Christ. Then on Late Night Color. And John. On John Colombo 227. That's it, baby. This has been the kickback on Dash Radio. We are out. Thank you so much. Peace. Peace. <laughs> yeah, Jack. That was fun. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. God. <laughs> Damn it! It was like this boring ass combo. Man, I trunners, dude. I know the time. Trunners, huh? That's what they was inserted. Trunners, huh?